What is the number one thing that you could do for your family? This is what you have to ask yourself. And I'm going to tell you what the answer is. The answer is having a plan. What is your family's plan? I want to know. Do you have a plan? If you do, put that in the comments below that you have a plan and let everybody know maybe how you do your plan. Do you do it in a notebook, a journal? Do you have it written down? Do you have it on a tablet? Do you have it on your phone? Where is your plan located? And do you know how to execute it? Can you get to it in a fast, very fast way in case of an emergency type situation? So today on today's video, we're going to be covering some of the things you want to make sure that you do have in your plan. And welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I appreciate you being here today. My name is Charles, so let's get going on this video. The first and foremost thing that you want to make sure that you have in your plan is your food. You want to make sure that you do have a two week supply of food. Now, I'm a firm believer that you need to have more than two weeks, but let's start with two weeks. Give yourself a little buffer in case of emergency. This way here, maybe it gives you time to get to a safe point. Maybe it gives you time to be rescued. Maybe it gives you time to ride out the storm, but having at least a basic two week supply of food is very very critical water make sure that you do have a two-week supply of water make sure you also do have some way to purify your water in case of whatever type of situation it may be having water is the most important thing that you can have in your plan and how you're going to get it how you're going to purify it and how you're going to make it safe to use to drink to cook with first aid kits make sure that you do have a wide range of first aid kits in your arsenal. You want small first aid kits that you can put into, say, some of your go bags. You want some small first aid kits maybe for your cars, your vehicles, your off-road vehicles, whatever you may have. You want to have a large first aid kit in your home to deal with more major type of injuries. Now, those you can purchase online or you can build your own, whichever way you choose to do it. You want to make sure that you do have that large first aid kit. Make sure that it is portable and that somebody can handle it and carry it with them. Preferably in a backpack would be more than efficient. Having go bags for everyone in your family, not just for the parents, but for the kids. Make sure that you do have clothes in there, dry clothes, dry socks. If you have kids, maybe a change of shoes because, you know, you don't want your feet get wet. It's not a fun thing, especially for kids. Make sure you have something in there for the kids as far as maybe books, coloring books. Depends on your kid's age. You all know what they like. Make sure you have something in there. You can put snacks in there and you can always keep a couple of bottles of water also. But the point is, make sure that everyone has a go bag and they know where it is and how to access it in emergency type situation. Emergency power. Now, besides having your generator, power banks, inverters, and all these type of things, you want to make sure that you have some way to generate power. Now, if you do have a battery bank and all that kind of stuff, you got to have some way to charge it. If you have a generator, you have to have extra gas. If you have an inverter that you can run off your car battery, that is only good as long as your car can run because you have to run your car to charge the battery. If you just hook it up, to the car battery and you keep charging things without starting the vehicle, you will run the battery dead and now you have a whole nother problem on your hands. Backup communications. Besides having your cell phones and everything else, you want to make sure that you do have some way to get information, whether it be two-way radios so you can communicate with one of the other people in your party. You want to make sure you have emergency radio, a, a ham radio, a held hand radio, just a basic radio, emergency radio. There's so many types out there. Make sure that you have something rather than just your cell phone. Don't rely on just your cell phone for everything because it may not work. Next in line, ways to cook. Do you have different ways to cook? If the power goes out, if you have your two week supply of food and water and everything else, do you have ways to cook? Meaning, do you have like a Coleman stove? So do you cook with some propane? Do you cook with uh, butane? Do you cook over a fire? However, do you have a different way of cooking in an emergency type situation? And do you have 
a stockpile of those type of things. Now I've talked a lot about a lot of this stuff on a lot of my videos. I've covered a lot of stuff in extents. This video is to try to make you aware of what is going on in this world today. And it's a changing, changing environment every minute, it seems like. So being prepared is key. Having a plan is so important. Emergency shelters, such as tents, tarps, wherever it may be, could be a camper, whatever it is. Do you have an emergency shelter? Do you know how to use it? Do you know how to set it up? This way here, if worse comes to worse and you had to leave your home and you got stuck out in the elements or whatever else, if you can stay at least dry and warm, you got a fighting chance. If you have nothing, setting underneath a tree is not fun in say a rainstorm, snowstorm, or any other type of situation. Make sure you have some type of shelter. Best evacuation routes. Now, I'm not talking hurricane evacuation routes. That's the first thing that everybody thinks of when you say evacuation routes. Depending on where you live, the population you live in, and everything else, you want to make sure that you have an evacuation route to get out of your area. The quickest way possible. Make sure that you do have more than one evacuation route that you're going to take. This way here, depending on what the situation is and your population, well, you know, a lot of people are trying to get out of Dodge too. So have an evacuation plan and I'd say at least three different routes will help get you out of harm's way. Have a safe point. Where's your safe point going to be? Is your safe point going to be with your family? Is it going to be with your friends? Is it in the state you live in? Is it in a different state? Do you have enough gas to get there? If not, make sure you have enough gas, maybe extra gas cans that you can put in your trunk or something so that you can put gas in your gas tank to help you get from point A to point B. And least but not last, cash. Cash on hand. If power's out, grid's down, internet's out, whatever else, some stores will still be open. I've seen it here in many hurricanes. Stores are open, but they only take cash. Your gold card is no longer any good. So you gotta have cash on hand, on hand, not in the bank, in the bank it's gonna do you no good, it's worthless there at this point in time. Having cash on hand in an emergency type situation will help you and your family survive the situation. Now remember, the word plan means decide on, and arrange in advance. Make sure that you are planning in advance. That's why having a plan is so very, very important. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me today on this video. I hope some of this strikes a little fire under a lot of people and gets them thinking about doing a plan and getting you ready for what comes next. Because with the way the world's going, folks, it ain't looking good. And you being prepared and having a plan is the most important thing you can do. So ask yourself this. What is your family's plan? Till next time, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Catch you all on the flip side.